Okay, so that's how it's going to work. Rescue workers so get set to fan out to search for victims following Saturday's devastating mudslide north of Seattle. The death toll stands at more than a dozen and expected to rise with so many people still missing. This is what the search is like from the air and on the ground. For residents who live here and were spared, the loss of life is just starting to settle in. It's so overwhelming and it's so devastating. There are neighbors. It's important to help. Don Young and his wife Elaine, seen here in orange, experienced significant damage to their home. But Tuesday, they were thinking only about their neighbors. You know what, we're safe. We came, we're, the, we're one of the first, the first house that wasn't destroyed, so we could easily not be here. I'm alive. Oso is a tiny fishing village, but the scope of the disaster had the president's attention on his European trip. So, uh, I would just ask uh, all Americans to uh, send their thoughts and prayers uh, to Washington state. Look. Tuesday, there was word of a government report years ago that predicted the possibility of a devastating mudslide. They've happened here before, but nothing like this. It's a close community. Everyone's doing what they can. <laughs> Elaine Young holds some photos and a Bible found in the debris. She hopes to reunite these now priceless possessions with their owners. Ned Barker, Associated Press. Hopefully, will bring a little comfort to.